Hey everybody, it's a robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. I got a short little video for you. What am I cleaning? Am I cleaning a brand new scooter? Nope. I'm cleaning a nine year old Vespa GTS 300 that belongs to a customer of my service department. And I thought I just want to share it with everybody. There's, I have customers that leave scooters outside and within one year they look completely trashed and knocked over like 10 times. They just look demolition derby status. And then I got the complete opposite. I have a customer that bought this scooter brand new from us nine years ago. This is a 2013 Vespa GTS 300 and it is in like new condition. And ironically, I have a yacht club that's brand new behind me. And to most untrained eyes, they would know if this was a new scooter or this was a new scooter. And I'll show you the dash in a little bit. This thing's got over 30,000 miles on it. It is in like new condition. It's never had a paint job. The customer takes exceptional care of the scooter. They keep it clean all the time. I've never seen it come into my service department dirty. It's, I'm afraid to touch the thing. I wish I had white gloves on to even move the scooter around. Everything about it is perfect, but somehow he uses it. It's proven by the 31,000 miles that he has on it. And I just want to go over like how he keeps it to this level of cleanliness and finish. So I just want to show you everything about the scooter and why it is in absolutely exceptional condition considering having real miles on it. But the paint job just feels perfect. It's actually smoother than a brand new scooter. I run my hand over this scooter. This has got either a ceramic coat or coats of wax, you know, regular waxing, not over waxing. I don't see swirls in the paint finish in any regards. There are a very few small flaws that you can't get away from. See right there? That's a rock nick. And the, the customer's chosen not to touch it up. But there's enough wax on the scooter. I see no signs of any sort of rust whatsoever coming from that rock chip. That's all the way to the metal. I mean, there's no way around it. If you're going to ride the scooter, you're going to have rocks kicked up. Um, you're going to have the effects of the sunlight hitting it. I mean, if you're riding it for 30,000 miles, um, I don't know, you could probably figure out the math. I mean, maybe you're on the road for, um, you know, if, even if you're riding at 60 miles an hour all the time, probably a more realistic average speed is maybe 25 miles an hour. You could think if, um, if 30,000 miles, it's been exposed to, exposed to the elements at least uh, 600 hours, at least, at the very minimum, because normal traffic, you're stop and go. But the engine's been running for probably like 600 plus hours on the scooter. It's been out and about being used for that much time. You know, obviously the customer puts a lot of effort into keeping it in like new condition at all times. And it completely shows. I see no rust or oxidization whatsoever on any of the chrome parts because there's always a protective coat of wax on it. You know, obviously it takes some effort with something like a microfiber rag. You need to have wax, a cleaner, hopefully, you know, mostly do most of your cleaning waterless. Every once in a while you just got to do some waterless cleaning. But just for example, I think he goes to the effort to even keep things like the hub. And I'm going to pull this up on a lift. I'm going to show you how nice it looks underneath the scooter. So if you look at the wheels, they're in perfect shape. He keeps nice tires on at all times. He does all the service as what's needed, you know, what's outlined by the factory. And if anything fails on it, he typically wants it repaired. I see no rust whatsoever on these bolts. Um, this scooter has spent almost all its life in coastal regions of San Diego and San Francisco Bay. But you look inside this hub, the aluminum looks perfect. And the only way to keep that at that level is probably occasionally unbolt the wheel as an owner of the scooter and clean underneath there. You don't do that with a 10 minute uh, cleaning, but you know, come on, you invest 
$8,000, $9,000 on a new vehicle, you should take good care of it. And sadly, I have a lot of really nice vehicles. I wish I had the time to take care of them to this level. I like to take care of my stuff, but it, this scooter truly shows the level of attention to detail of keeping a scooter in like new condition at all times. And ironically, behind me, I have a Yacht Club Edition. The term like new condition at all times, I learned that from a captain of, like I think it was a $50 million yacht that I was outside of and I was asking if there's any way I can get a tour because I knew the owners of this uh, yacht weren't, you know, they visit the yacht probably a couple times a year. They're, that's the level of people that own this yacht. And the captain says, I'm sorry, but the owners are request that they have no, like, you know, outsiders on their yacht, except for maintenance crew, because they want to keep the yacht in like new condition at all times. So if the carpet looks a little stained, they would replace it, you know, that sort of stuff. You know, they don't want to have, have any of that risk of some outsider going on it, even though I would take the utmost respect and appreciate somebody's $50 million yacht. It's something that's so outside my realm of existence, you know, you know, so I thought, ah, it'd be kind of neat to experience that. But you look, the reflectors look perfect. You see some other really, really small rock chips up in here. But I'm gonna get this up on the lift and show you how it looks underneath. So I got it lifted up on one of the lifts just to kind of look underneath the scooter. And the most susceptible area, if you fail to keep your scooter up and keep it clean, could be this area. I feel a little nicks right here. There's absolutely no sign of paint delamination or bubbling, any sort of defect. I feel little defects from where rocks have chipped the paint. And like I said, there's no way around that. If you're gonna put 30,000 miles, you're gonna get rock chips just by using it. Um, but the only way you would take this to the next level is you put paint protection film throughout the scooter, you know, and. Maybe you do ride it in salty roads. Maybe that is a good idea to put paint protection film. That stuff has come a long ways. I see a tiny little nick there, a little ding. Uh, but underneath is all perfect. It's very smooth because it's got obviously a wax coat. I see a little nick on the fender. But all the way underneath, it's exceptionally clean. I do see a little bit of dirt around the center stand pivot because that pivot does have a little bit of grease on it, but it's in exceptional condition. There's no engine oil leaked. Um, with 30,000 miles, if somebody abused the motor, like they failed to ever warm it up and they put full throttle on it repeatedly, you know, with a cold motor, you cause expansion of the gaskets and the engine components where you end up with oil leaks prematurely. This motor has none. And I've never fixed any oil leaks on it because the way the customer owns this, operates it, is he's easy on the motor until it's up to operating temperature. A lot of people fail to remember that these internal combustion motors need to warm up to a proper operating temperature before they're, um, you're gonna use the 100% power that has available to deliver. So everything is kept in working condition. Anything that ever fails, if the clock goes out, the customer requests that that's uh, repaired. Um, pretty much over 30,000 miles, which is over 50,000 kilometers. And this scooter has tons of life still left in it. So I thought you all would be interested in this scooter. It's an exceptional condition of a nine-year-old scooter, but Pretty much any of you can keep your scooter up this level. I mean, it doesn't take much. It pretty much, most of it's just some elbow grease and effort. There's so many people just let these scooters deteriorate for no reason whatsoever. I mean, San Diego is a coastal region with kind of a salty uh, air. I've seen rust bucket Vespas. I've seen Hondas where the frames are all rusted and the wheels look like garbage. Same with the buddy scooters, mufflers that look like a boat anchor. Um, but if you just put weekly elbow grease into your scooter, you can keep it in like new condition all the time. You never need to buy a new scooter. Fix it as you need to. You know, they always say it's just cheaper to keep them going than it is to buy a new one. I mean, I, I 
you know, the new stuff, sometimes you got better safety features and more features, sometimes more power. Yeah, that's definitely a, a benefit to having something new, but the overall effort is better spent in proper maintenance and along with proper maintenance, just upkeep of the scooter. And that takes effort uh, of the owner to do so. Um, there's no signs that there's any sort of rust this thing can go for, um, you know, 100,000 miles, like a quarter million kilometers. I see no reason for it to have a frame rust out in the coastal environment. And there's people that complain about these things rusting out. I don't see it. If you know how to take care of your scooter, it's not an issue. This person doesn't have a mud flap, nothing on it. He just keeps a good coat of protection of wax and cleaning off any road debris as it accumulates. I'm sure the scooter's been caught out in the rain, all that sort of stuff. It's not just a fair weather riding scooter. This is a customer that has commuted on the scooter for several years. Um, I know the miles he's put on has uh, slowed down a little bit, but when he initially got it, he was racking up miles pretty rapidly. But thought you'd find that interesting. Thanks for watching. It's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport Scooter West.